summary, this kind of, this topic, the next generation of gambling, makes this one of the, the key sessions of this entire conference. And to moderate this session, we've had Bill Pasquale the third, who's a known lobbyist, but I think they call Bill Pasquale a lobbyist. It doesn't tell the whole story. Uh, in my view, certainly in the state of New Jersey, he's earned a reputation as a visionary because he, more than any other individual that I can think of, has helped New Jersey become a pioneer in high gaming. So he gets the issue, he gets the importance of this. So, straight from the halls of the Princeton Public Affairs Group, please welcome BP3, also known as Bill Pesquerel. But one thing that the entire industry shares in common, I believe, is the challenge of getting foot traffic of the millennials back into the doors of the brick and mortar. Long term health of the industry necessitates getting these millennials to walk to the front. What's the casino in 10 years look like? Uh, from your perspective, trying to capture that market. Walk us through the doors. I think this crowd has the emphasis on the wrong salon. And here's why. You are headed to, in my judgment, a repeat of the Blackberry syndrome. What we heard today from a very um, experienced panel was what the industry needs to do to stay relevant for the future how they need to embrace fantasy sports and iGaming and social gaming and skill gaming and incorporate it into the casino floor. And what many of them said is that the casino floor today will look nothing like the casino floor in the future. 